Hey folks, this is Bobby J. Gallo coming to you from a not-so-sunny Fort Mill, South Carolina. It's very rainy out today, so there's not a lot of sun coming into uh, into my place today. So the picture actually looks a little grainy, but um, that's actually probably a good thing considering the subject matter of this video. Today, let's talk about startups. Uh, there's something about startups that is an absolute phenomenon today. Every time I see a networker, they're getting involved in the latest and greatest startup. And believe me, I can see the appeal to this because I fell prey to this once too. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit of a story about myself and see if you can relate or um, uh, someone that you know can relate to this story. <clears throat> there once was a network marketer uh, who was with a, an established company that was as old as Methuselah or 50 years, uh, you you make the choice there, uh, and uh, actually was building a pretty good business. Met the owner of the company, everything was going great, and then all of a sudden he was uh, drawn to the dark side by a very famous MLM guru uh, who he, he was very enamored with and said, wow, wouldn't it be cool if I could join this guy and he could be my sponsor? He could tell me how to get to the top. So this was the latest and greatest. This was the next big thing. This was the company that is going to turn this industry on its ear. You all heard this a million times before. But guess what? When I heard it, it was the first time, at least to my ears. So I joined. And what happened? Exactly that. This thing blew up. In fact, I will sit here right now and say that it was probably the most talked about new network marketing launch in the industry's history. I mean, it was unbelievable. And we were going like gangbusters and we were getting people. I mean, uh, honestly, uh, I, I found some superstars, uh, despite that I was put in an off leg. It was actually a binary. I was not put in a power leg. I was put in an off leg. So I had to build both legs myself. Uh, but I did it anyway. And it was absolutely phenomenal. Look at that. I even hear oriental music because I was in such tranquility and bliss when this happened. I mean, it was great. And at least one new person per day was uh, coming into my organization. And sometimes as many as four or five. I mean, it was an unstoppable locomotive. And I'll never forget that phenomenal first conference with my new team when they said, we have fantastic news for you. We're changing the comp plan. What? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a good thing. Because you see, instead of getting the matching bonus here, you're going to have to go up two levels. In other words, instead of getting the matching bonus at 2,000 PV a month, you're going to have to do 10,000 PV a month. But don't worry. It's a good thing. You know why? It'll get everybody in your team more motivated. And in the end, you'll make more money. And we're like, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, but no, no, no. It's okay. You know why? Because we got a brand new scientist aboard that just found the cure for club foot disease. And as soon as all the people in the world find out that we have the cure for club foot disease, they are just going to just come in like unbelievable. It'll be like a hurricane. Okay. Okay. We'll deal with the comp plan change because now we have the cure for club foot disease. So we're all, that's great, great. And we go out of that conference and we're, we're sponsoring up a storm. And all of a sudden, what was that? The, the lead scientist, the one with the cure for club foot disease just quit the company. Oh, but that's okay. That's okay. Because, because that person really didn't know what they were doing anyway. And, oh, they took their best product with them, which was also our best product. Oh, well, well, hey, look, look, that's a, it's, look, let me, look, we have all these other new products on the drawing board and they're going to be coming in. That's great. Okay. Now, uh, we're going along. We're going to say, we're not going to let this stop us because it's the only thing that's, that's stopping us now is the six inches between our ears. What's that? One of the master's distributors just quit and went to a juice company. Well, you know what we're going to say? That we cannot be bought. No way. They can't give us a deal to go to another company. We're going to stay right here because we are awesome. And and, and you know what? And, and, and by the way, we have the best news of all. We're not going to be doing business in those Eastern European countries anymore because, they, because we're going to go over to the Pacific Rim and concentrate there. Um, <clears throat> wait a minute. Um, that's where my whole group is. I'm doing a hundred thousand dollars a month in volume from those Eastern European countries. 
<gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's okay. You don't want to be there anyway because the Pacific Rim is where it's at. That's where it's happening. And it's only the six inches between. Look, look, look. It's not the six inches between my ears. And by the way, I'm holding up the wrong fingers here. Look, don't you even tell me that it doesn't matter. Some of these people in, the, in these Eastern European co countries, they put up their life savings to get a thousand dollar distributor to get to be a member of this company for an opportunity that you promised them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But look, this is for the best interest of everybody involved. And then, folks, guess what happened? Here's my downline, and this is the company. <laughs> I mean, this is what happens, folks. This is the anatomy of a startup company in many, 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 did I say many, cases. Look, I know the argument could be said that if you join one of these 50-year-old icons, that they were a startup once, too. But you know what? That's a weak argument. Do you know why? Because when they started, there were no other companies. Now companies are a dime a dozen, and 95% of them fail, and the, the, the competition for them out there in the marketplace is just too great. Look, why are we in this business to begin with? We are in this for walkaway residual income. No other reason. I know we all want to be at the top of the heap when we join a startup, but the fact of the matter is that those positions are already taken before you even join the company. Those master distributorships are already there. Look, most Americans and most people around the world, for that matter, have never even heard of network marketing. So you could join an established company, have the exact same opportunity, with the difference that the infrastructure is already there, the product line is already there, if you're doing health and well wellness and nutrition, the clinicals are already there, and the tools are already there. Um, did I mention tools already? I might have. I don't know. Uh, as you can see, I'm really passionate about this subject because it's one that strikes home to me. I am back home with my original company and even if you don't join my company I urge you to look at one of these older companies you'll be better off in the long run in my opinion and so will uh, the people in your downlines and possibly even your family and children because with these companies <clears throat> walk away residual income as well as transferable wealth is a reality why because it's already been done and you can't argue with the track record this is Bobby J Gallo and we'll talk to you soon